Morning, guys. It's story time. I have a special friend with me today. This is Marvin, and Marvin is a moose. So can you guess what today's story is about? It's about a moose. If you give a moose a muffin. M for moose, M for muffin. We have some friends in our class whose names start with letter M. Do you remember who they are? Well, I remember Mia and Malia. Both of their names start with the letter M. So, the name of our book is If You Give a Moose a Muffin. And it's written by Laura Numeroff. And it's illustrated by Felicia Bond. So, let's see what this story is all about. If you give a moose a muffin, oh, that's a big moose. There's a little boy throwing a muffin out to the moose. He'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. Oh, he's going to share some jam with the moose. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another, and another, and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. Oh, he's an awful hungry moose. He'll have to go to the store and get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. Hmm, little boy's putting on his sweater. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, He'll ask to borrow a sweater. Do you think you have a sweater that's going to fit this moose? I don't know. When he puts his sweater on, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing the button. And it will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. Oh, look, he's sewing. Hmm... So, he'll ask for some old socks. He'll make some sock puppets. Well, I remember when we made sock puppets. When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. We put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paints. Hmm, he's getting out all his stuff to draw. Then he'll ask you to help make the scenery. Wow, he's got a lot of stuff he's going to draw and make the scenery with. When the scenery is finished, he'll get out from behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. Oh, just like these. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. Hmm, what do you think he's going to ask for? You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout. Boo! Oh, he looks like a ghost. It'll scare him so much he'll knock over all the paint. Oh, he's making a big mess, isn't he? So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. Mm. He's going to do some laundry. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. Where's he got to hang that sheet? Outside, right? He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. Oh, he's taking the sheet outside. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Oh, there's the bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He's remembering the jam he put on his muffin. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, 
who want a muffin to go with it. Did you like that story? Well, here's my friend Marvin. Does anybody remember at the beginning of the story who gave the moose the muffin? Well, if you said the little boy, you were right. And what did he want to go with the muffin? Hmm, here's our muffin. Do you remember what he wanted to go with it? He wanted some jam on it. Some jam. After he ate all the muffins, do you remember what he put on when he got chilly? He put on a sweater. He put on a sweater to go outside. Sometimes we wear coats. Sometimes we wear sweaters. And when he put on his sweater, what happened next? Do you remember? The button came loose. The button came loose. So, what was he going to use to sew the button back on? Hmm, let's think a minute. What does your mommy use? A needle and some thread, right? That's what we use to sew the buttons back on. And at the end of the story, do you remember what he wanted to go with his jam? Hmm, what do you want to go with your jam? He wanted a muffin, right? He's going to put the jam on his muffin. So, my favorite muffin is blueberry. What's yours? <laughs>